is Los Angeles ready for the big one? It's a question that's frequently tossed around, but this week KTLA is digging deep to find the answers. Tonight in part one of a four-part series, Dave Melkoff examines what is believed to be LA's most earthquake-resistant building and why it's an important spot for all of us. Someday, when the San Andreas Fault sends a jolt directly towards Los Angeles, the city's leaders will want to be here. My name is Chris Ipson. I'm the public information officer for the city's emergency management department. LA's most earthquake-proof building. This high-tech command center is nothing compared to the basement. Get this, the building is not actually connected to its foundation. We call it the floating building. One of the reasons why the stairwell here is not attached to the physical ground. This two-story, 84,000 square foot box is floating on 40 suspension points. Over here, you're gonna have more of your lateral, horizontal type movement. 20 to move the building side to side. This would literally roll back and forth in an earthquake. Picture almost like a roller coaster. The other 20 points bounce the building up and down. It's been engineered to hold the weight of this building. You could see the natural daylight. Ooh, excuse me, Dave. <laughs> the natural daylight coming through behind us, and that's the indicator that the building is separate from the ground. When an earthquake as powerful as an 8.0 hits, the ground around the building will shake side to side, but the building itself and the people inside will appear to stand still. This will be moving quite a bit. Inside, you won't be feeling much. It's designed to rock side to side as much as four feet and up and down as much as two feet. Down here, the gas, the power, the sewage, the communication, they're all designed with a ton of slack so they don't snap when city leaders are upstairs dealing with the disaster. These cables here, you could see all the play in here, the flexibility that allows this building to move yet not sever our electrical. Floating building is not cheap. This is how city leaders spent part of the $600 million Prop Q public safety bond. Uh, we spent about $5 million extra just on this capacity here. And just in case one of those 40 isolators blow out, they have a few spares standing by. We would have to jack the building up or part of the building and then wait, wait, push. Wait, you can jack the building up? The building, yeah. Yeah, you jack it up. The whole building? And, uh, part of it, depending on which isolator went down. You thought changing your tire was a pain. Underneath LA's safest building, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News.